in today's video we are going to add engine coolant to the radiator system and we're going to use this little tool here to make sure that the coolant uh, ratio is 50-50 meaning it should be 50% coolant or antifreeze and 50% uh, water like distilled water water like this deionized I believe they call it so that if there's any uh, minerals or chemicals, whatever, in your water in your house, it's not getting into your radiator system and causing buildup. <coughs> this, uh, this is antifreeze plus coolant. This is already a 50-50 mix. So a container of antifreeze has to be uh, mixed with the deionized water. Uh, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Anything I'm using here is just what I happen to buy. Anyways, we're going to add the coolant. And we're going to use our little tester to make sure that our ratios are correct. The coolant reservoir for your vehicle is going to look something like this. Incidentally, never do this with your engine hot. Ideally, let your vehicle sit overnight. I could tell you a dramatic story. When I was a teenager with an old car that I lifted the top off of and the fluid come out, like literally sprayed out and over my shoulder. The only good thing was I was looking away from the rad when I took it off. So it's going to be something like this. Um, this is an old work van I bought like four years ago, at least four years ago, for $600. So I'm not particularly concerned about this vehicle. Although I was, although what I got for coolant is this, and it says good for all vehicles. If you've got a halfway valuable vehicle, I would recommend uh, go to your um, auto parts place and get the exact coolant for your vehicle and get out your old owner's manual read a little section there it's a good idea to do that it'll point out things uh, you know like here concentration should be uh, maintained 50 50 mix um, coolant and distilled water and that type of thing and it'll explain a bit more about this Here's our hydrometer. As you can see, I had to add a little extension because the coolant level in this vehicle is kind of low and I couldn't get the tube down. This tube has got to be totally down in the fluid. So I just did a fancy alteration as you can see. Now, if we look at our hydrometer, along the bottom here is temperatures in degrees Celsius here for us Canadians and degrees Fahrenheit for Americans and uh, whoever reads in Fahrenheit. So again back to the recommended the generic 50% antifreeze and 50% distilled water will bring us uh, to a minus 36 degrees Celsius which would be in around there. And as we can see, that's pretty close on the Fahrenheit, uh, grad, uh, on the gradations for the uh, Fahrenheit also right there. So we're gonna want our pointer. What happens is this pointer here is gonna come up and show us if we need more antifreeze, uh, coolant, or distilled water. So ideally we want we're going to submerge this end, squeeze that, and see where our float comes up into our graduations over on the side. Instructions for this little hydrometer, which incidentally, uh, this, this cost me I think about $10 Canadian, uh, June of 2021. The instructions tell us the pointer, see the pointer kind of moving around there? This has to be totally immersed in the water, and it, uh, or coolant, I should say, and it uh, says to, to bring the fluid level up to this line. So, 
this thing down. And as I said, because the coolant in this vehicle, the level is low, I gotta be a little strategic getting that in there. Aha, uh -huh. well, that's interesting. So we can see our pointer is hopefully this is coming out. I'll have to check this and see if it actually comes out and do it again if not. Our pointer is actually pointing way above our level of about minus 36 Celsius that we were talking about here. So there's probably a too high of a percentage of uh, antifreeze in here. So I'm just going to show you the level on the side of the uh, reservoir here and I'm probably just going to add distilled water to try to get that percentage a little closer. Okay, here is the side of the reservoir and our markings. Cold fill range right up here and there's the oh, I'm going to move this camera a little bit here. There's the level when it's too low and you got to add uh, coolant to it and way down here is where the fluid level actually is so uh, some poor maintenance done by the owner of this old work van here due to the fact that our hydrometer showed us that the level of antifreeze is too high I'm just going to add some distilled water and what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna start the vehicle just to run the coolant through the whole cooling system of the vehicle because we're not gonna get that accurate of a reading um, because we're, we're gonna be reading just what's sitting right here in the reservoir so I'm gonna start the vehicle just for a couple of minutes and I'm going to leave the cap off of this just because I want to finish this video and show you what our reading is afterwards. So, see what my level on the side is here. Well, shake it there. So it's still not quite up. I'm going to put some more in. As I say, if you've got a newer vehicle, be more a little more careful than what I'm being here. But I just want to for the purpose of this video show you what we're doing okay so uh, I'm gonna take the camera off show you where we're at here and if I shake that so we're up just about right there now I haven't started the vehicle. This is actually, I think this, is, this will illustrate the use of the hydrometer fairly well here. As I said, right now, the reservoir is basically just full of that distilled water we just put in there. So I'm gonna draw some up. Uh, do that again, we're not quite up to that top line there. Okay, well, now we're beyond the top line. Okay, I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time on this, but just all I want to show you see the float the float is pointing way down it's telling us basically that we're protected to about zero uh, zero degrees Celsius so now I'm gonna start the engine start the vehicle and let the uh, coolant circulate and we'll take another reading I have the cover off the coolant reservoir. I got, I'm gonna put my stopwatch going here. I'm gonna get my YouTube editor person to just fast forward through this, but I just wanna give you a rough idea that I'm only letting the, the engine run for a couple of minutes. You don't wanna let this thing get too hot. I just want to illustrate to you the, the how the hydrometer reading will be different.
fairly cool evening here in Canada. So I wanted to let this the vehicle run long enough for the thermostat to kick in and to really circulate the coolant. Um, anyway, I just shut it down. Uh, but we can see that even at this point, our reading is up into around the minus 22 degrees Celsius. And that's just from the coolant uh, flowing around a bit. Now, if I was to take this out in the highway and let the, the uh, thermostat kick in, which would allow the fluid to totally go through the system, we'd get a more accurate reading. But for our purposes, I think that shows you uh, how the hydrometer works. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful.